Me have on my flag, <laughs> and me I wear my colors. Me are checking for the rest of them to make sure y'all have your flags and your colors. Whether you're representing Antigua, Trinidad and Tobago, I'm saving Jamaica for last because of it too much. <laughs> <laughs> Guyana, Grenada, <laughs> St. Kitts, Nevis, Panama, Barbados, Cuba, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, both the Amer American and the British Virgin Islands. So again, thank you so much for coming out and hanging out with us. We're doing some really unique things this year. We actually flew in, actually he bought his own ticket, but I'm gonna say we flew in. He came in from New York City to spend a couple of days with us. The owner and operator of Bickle's app, Mr. Dominique Christopher. We have been taking him to the different Caribbean restaurants around here to sign them up for Caribbean Restaurant Week which starts on June the 6th, and he was nice enough to extend it to run into the end of the month. So stay tuned to Bickle's Meals, the app that it has been created to make sure our needs are met when it comes to Caribbean cuisine, can I tell you? Next, I'm going to briefly mention some of the folks that we have in the house and the idea behind this, guys, is to network. Network, make sure you meet your neighbors. Caribbean people have been in Michigan since 19, 1866, sorry, 1866. And in the house, we have one of the legends. He is 45 years old. Holy um, decades, I'm not going to say how old he is. Dr. Carl Gregory. He has been here for two riots. So if you want to get some schooling about what Caribbean people have been doing throughout this time, make sure you stop by the table and say hello to Dr. Gregory. He is a absolutely fantastic gentleman to have conversation with. We were pleased that he was a part of our Black History Month event last year when we talked about how the Caribbean Americans, what role the Caribbean Americans played in the civil rights movement. So he's a mountain of information. Next, we have in the house one of our pleasures, one of our divas, Senator Erica Geis. She may be the only, but you know, we don't hide our heritage. She may be the only current serving Senator of Caribbean heritage. So we applaud you for the work that you do for representing us. And thank you so much for coming out and hanging out with us tonight. Again, this is the opportunity for you to network with the people that are here so you can find out who your neighbors are, spend some time with them. So when we see out, each other out in the road, we're not turning up our nose and say, well, I don't know if she's Caribbean or he is Caribbean or not. Know that you love your neighbors and you celebrate everybody. We also have in the house a wonderful young woman that has taken up the charge and we're hoping that she will be successful, I would say. Miss um, Crystal Bailey. She is running for mayor of Oak Park. And I know a whole heap of Caribbean people in Oak Park. So I'm hoping that she has an opportunity to tell you what her platform is today. And you guys can assist her to make sure our community members know of the great work that she is doing and help her along the way. I'm trying to think if there's anybody else. Oh, there, we do have some giveaways up here. Um, we're working with the National non Michigan Nonprofit Association on the redistricting project, which is where they're looking to change the map of the state of Michigan. And this may affect us um, when it comes to who we vote for 
what districts they may change around. So make sure you stay tuned to that. So we do have some lanyards that we're giving away to remind you, participate in everything that's happening because our voices need to be heard. So um, I think that's it. So the party we start. Um, thank you guys again for coming out. I hope you share all we do on social media to make people realize that we have Caribbean people been here for with, with their long, 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 long time, and we is not going anywhere. And I want to thank Ime, he's running away, for allowing us to use his wonderful place on so many occasions. He has supported us in so many ways and have worked with us to make sure that we're in some of the rooms that they um, they allow him in and we won't go in because we're known to carry our own chairs with us. If they don't invite us in the room, we kick down the door and we carry our own chair and put it at the table. Sometimes we even bring our own table to make sure we have our own space. So I may thank you again for allowing us to use your space tonight and for bringing great entertainment when you do. Because you know once there is reggae music and soca music, Caribbean people is in the house. I want to thank um, Lyndon and his crew for providing us with live music tonight. So you will hear Nikki, Melo, and Lyndon playing some live music tonight. And we have Kerry, I don't know where Kerry hiding, Mixology is here also to so make sure we hype up the music later on. And I think DJ Bombastic is also going to be here. He's coming out of Chicago. And I think he's here for that um, Ira George concert tomorrow. So if you like soca, make sure you go to Thomas McGee's tomorrow for Wind Up on OBS. And like I said, stay tuned to what's going on for the month of June. My name is Sophia Chu. My social medias are Facebook is Sophia Chu. Also the page is Caribbean Community Service Center and on IG it's Solo Chu and Caribbean Community Service Center. So again, thank you so much for coming out. Make sure you enjoy yourselves today and go home safely and know the part of waste that can be done chat.